Well, hello there, everybody. I'm Murray, and today we're going to learn how to do the walking through door effect. The one you saw in the beginning of the video. But anyways, let's jump in. Okay, so before we jump into the whole thing, I want to let you guys know what mistakes I made during my first attempt. And maybe you guys can avoid those and maybe save some of your time. Anyway, so during my first attempt, I had handheld. My second attempt was also handheld, but this first attempt, it was very shaky. And so when you went through, it kind of... It was pretty weird, um, as you can see here. Um, the, the camera also rotated on its Z-axis, so it kind of looked weird as well. But you can tell that I'm going to just play it here so you can see, but you can see how weird it looks. And so when you guys are doing it, I would suggest um, keeping the camera as steady as you can whilst going through the door. That way you don't get this weird thing. I also suggest taking your time with keyframing the mask. You can see here I didn't do a very good job. Um, it was very rushed, granted, but you can see you can definitely see the mask. But anyways, um, I had my second attempt here, and what happened was I had the camera much more steady on the, my second attempt, um, which worked really well. But the only thing was is that it wasn't completely 100% smooth. Um, and I attempted to have a warp stabilizer, but then deleted it because I didn't have any of the data inside here. As you can tell, um, I marked, masked it all out, but I didn't have the data to track it. So it looked kind of weird towards the end here. But anyways, let's get into it and see how we can do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is have the timeline all set up in my project. I'm just going to drag in my footage and that looks pretty good. And you can see it's just a regular old bedroom. Um, and what we're going to first, the first thing we're going to do actually is go to the first frame where the inside of the room is visible. Um, about there, okay. And the next thing we're going to do is get our pen tool and we're going to mask this out. It goes all the way up, okay. That makes it easier. And so I'm just going to mask this sliver out and actually what I'm going to do is go to my mask and just leave it on none so I can see what I'm doing it just makes things a little easier I'm just going to make the mask on the very edge of the door and then don't forget this I've forgotten it before and I've gone through the whole thing and realized I didn't click the stopwatch and I'm just going to go hit one keyframe select my mask and move it out it says rotoing in case you didn't know what it was called. Rotoing, it's it's a very boring part of visual effects, yet it's very necessary sometimes. And so I'm just going to whoops. I'm just going to go a keyframe each time and just put the mask on there. So now you can you just finish this bottom part here and so now you can see if I go back, the mask is actually following the door, um, which is nice. But you got to do that throughout the whole scene so that it can, the mask kind of follows the edges of the door. And um, I'm just going to go through that because I don't want to waste your time and I'll be right back. Okay, and you can see that we're left over with this. It looks pretty nice. The mask is following the door. And all I'm going to do is get the mask feather and I'm going to take it up to about six and I'm going to get the mask expansion. I'm going to do four just so that it kind of, let me show you what it looks like. But when I subtract the mask, you can see now that anything underneath this layer will appear through there. But if I just take off the mask expansion, you can see what it does. So I'm just going to take it up to four again. And okay, so that looks pretty good, but you might have noticed that I have completely ignored the door handle and it kind of goes over the line here. That's okay. We'll fix that. So what we're going to do is go to, we're going to duplicate this layer first, and then we're going to go to the mask. We're going to delete the mask on that top layer. And then where the first frame where the door handle kind of goes over the edge of the door, we're going to, um, yes, yeah, go about there. We're going to create a new mask. And so with our layer selected, I'm just going to draw mask over the door handle here. And that should be okay there. And I'm going to do the same this side. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Um, again, I'm going to create a mask path and the mask is going to be on add. So essentially this is what, this is all that you're seeing. And uh, I'm actually going to take the feather up to probably 4%. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay. Looks okay. All right. So the same thing again, I'm going to roto, go ahead one frame and I'm going to select the whole mask and just drag it along and make sure to keep it right along the edge of the door frame or the door handle actually. And yeah, just more rotoing. Okay. And so once you've finished rotoing that door handle, assuming you have a problem like that, that like I did, it should look like this. And if I just solo it, you can actually see what the door handle looks like. But now all we have to do is grab our other footage that you want underneath. And that is pretty much it. Now, what you can actually do to kind of blend these shots a little more is you could add an adjustment layer. And all I did with this is I just masked over the door, keyframed the mask, and I did the same with this part of the door as well. You gotta make sure that the mask is over the door just like this. And um, obviously you gotta be careful because you're gonna get this effect. So just keep it over the door like that and keyframe the position of the mask, feather it quite a bunch, and then add a curves onto your adjustment layer, just like that. And what I did was just uh, brought up the reds just a tiny bit, greens up a little bit of an S curve, not quite. And actually I just took the blues down just a tiny bit. And it kind of just, um, cause you see the, the light is gonna be bouncing from the grass onto the doors. And so you kind of just get a little bit of that green onto there rather than the blue whitish feel that you were getting from the bedroom. And it just gives a little more realism. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoy After Effects or Premiere Pro or just filmmaking in general, consider subscribing. And remember, learn, film, repeat. And until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting.